Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. So today bringing you another Frankfurt Arsenal product. Um, another disclaimer as usual, they did not send this to me. I bought it. Um, I was looking for a trimmer that I could adjust and change for multiple calibers. I was using the Little Crow Gunworks World's Finest Trimmer for 223 and 308. Um, I was going to get another one for Grendel because um, that's my new my new thing, but I don't know. It was $80 for one caliber, or you could do $80 and then $30 for each caliber after that if you get there. I think they've said, they've got like some kind of universal product where you can just change out the collets and stuff like that. And then I ran across Frankfurt Arsenal. They've got a universal precision case trimmer as seen here. So I bought it. I sold my world's finest trimmers on a whim. And so I really hope this works out. <laughs> um, I, I will tell you, I, I already have used this, but I wanted to show you guys as it came. Instructions, blah, whatever. Here is the trimmer. And I'll go into that in a second here. Um, and I want to get these words right, so I'm actually going to open the book. It's against my religion, but I'm going to do it. And so these are case body collets. And so there's three different kinds, uh, small, medium, and large. Small is like 223 size cases. Um, if it fits in a 223 mag sized magazine or action, you use this one. The next one up is 308 and 30-06 uh, sized cases. And then the larger one is for magnum sized cases. Um, you really aren't going to get that wrong. Like they're they're pretty obviously sized, so and they're not marked that I could see. No, I don't see any markings on them, but that's okay. And then over here, you've got six case shoulder bushings that rest on the case of a shell, and I'll show you. This goes inside of the body here, just like this. And as you insert this to get it trimmed, it'll sit on here like that. So I'll put that back. So, all right, 0.17 to 0.22, 0 0.243 to 0.27, 0 0.284 to 0.30, 0 0.32 to 0 0.375, 0 0.40 to 0.416, and then 0 0.458. Um, it's pretty obvious, like if I dropped all these and I had to put them back, it's pretty obvious. Um, and most of them only fit on the correct one unless it's just too big. And so with that, let me get this out of the way and show you a little bit more of the, of the trimmer, a little more up close. So this thing is, uh, it's pretty heavy duty. I've trimmed 250 or so Grindel cases with this already, but the cool thing here it is numbered, and then you can, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear the machining, or feel the machining marks. This is pretty solidly built. So it's got numbers here for reference. Spindle spins freely. It's nice. Um, on the flat part here, as you can see, it's got a marking, and if you screw this out, I'll go ahead and do it since all my Grindle brass is prepped. This is the coarse adjustment. And so if you can see those coarse or the uh, smaller markings inside of here, if you're using this for a longer case, you can actually reference how many marks are showing and then use this large line here to line up with a number roughly. And then once you get it set, you lock it down and it doesn't move. And so not too bad. I really like this. The cutter on the inside, you can sort of see it through there, maybe not, it's kind of dark. But you can see it sticking out through there. It's bigger than most of the other companies I've looked at. The cutter is, um, it's a very large diameter. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with that. And just a real quick setup. I'm gonna come back here. We're gonna show you how to set this up. So if I'm gonna set this up for Grindel, I'm gonna remove the end cap and I'm gonna find the appropriate die. So if you don't know, 6.5 Grindel, 6.5 millimeters in general, are 0.264. That would fall into this middle piece here on the front, 0.243 to 
all right and I want to show you this it is beveled all right so the bevel is up in this direction it goes into the trimmer in that direction so you drop it in there it'll stop and then since it's a 223 basically sized case um, you use the smallest of the body collets and you screw this piece back on so one thing I've already found you don't want to screw this on too tight and I'm this is going to be really hard for you guys to see but okay here we go I think this might work so you don't want to screw it down too tight you want to screw it down until that's almost at the top there and so what I did so I can still wiggle it that's my judgment I can barely move it there there it's not moving let me grab a Grindel case that's already trimmed and so from there this is not like if you've used the world's finest finest trimmer this isn't just going to be set it in there and trim it and pull it and then like I can tumble it over and let it drop out maybe after I break it in a little bit but as you can see I can't just push it in there so I'm going to loosen it just a little bit and then now it's down in there all the way okay it is a little bit harder it grabs that body and it holds it pretty well you're still going to have to hold the the end of the brass while you're trimming it so you know I, I like it I wish it was a little bit more free um, if you loosen this too much, I just feel like that's going to move around too much and it still grabs it at the bottom anyways. But that's about, let me see if I can show you that. This is about the most movement I would want in it. All right, but Because you want it to make sure that it's getting down and this, this collet is sitting on the neck appropriately. And so this is already sized. So what I can do now, I can see the case mouth inside the window here. All right. And so... I'm going to loosen the locking nut and I know I've got a long ways to adjust down so I'm going to give myself some room. I put that not locking nut almost all the way to the top. I take the course adjustment and I want you to notice something. When I hit the case, this spindle is going to stop turning. All right. It stopped turning. All right. And that case is perfectly sized, so I don't want to crank down on this right now. Okay, I can feel that. Barely trying to cut that case, so I'm going to back it off just a hair. And that is a mathematical equation, just a hair. All right, and I'm going to... I can feel it touching it, but it's not really trimming it. I'm sure you can hear that. All right. So you're ready to go. And this is exactly where... That's awesome. I wanted to test that. I wanted to test that if I did this on a, on a precise case, if it would sit exactly where I had it. And I, I don't have a reference here because those marks were further down in here. This was pretty low. But this was at 23, and it's right above the 23 mark. So it's 20 here, 25, and then 30. It was right at the 23. So that worked out perfectly. All right. Um, word, of, word of caution, as you can see, these windows are large. It's going to throw brass shavings out. And so eye protection, you got to have it. Um, I don't think it's an option when you're doing something like this. But given that, I did 250 cases, like I said. Last look at that. I did 250 cases of brass um, the other day of 6.5 Grindel. And the load to length. Um, was 2.2 oh no that's not right anyways I, I can't no it was one point something one point I don't remember I'll put it in the description but um, regardless the point was like point something one oh, oh six to to one six or something like that and so I set my initial piece of brass on the length to uh, 0 0.10, so it's kind of right in the middle of the allowable variances there. And every third piece of brass, I went ahead and measured. And this has been the most consistent trimmer I've used to date. It's gonna hurt me. All of my Anyways, I've gone too long already. I wanted to share that with you for the Frankfurt Arsenal Universal Pre Precision Case Trimmer. 
So far, two thumbs up. Um, I'll keep you posted. I'm going to try some on my 308 and some 223. It's not for pistol calibers, but it's just for rifle calibers. And keep you guys updated and let you know how it goes. Stay tactical.